It all started five years ago when Carol Hollowell came upon Ray, a homeless man sitting in the rain. I was driving to work early one morning and I saw him in his wheelchair by the library. It was probably 5.30 in the morning and raining. And I just asked him, really, what are you doing? Why are you homeless here? Why are you living behind the library? And he said, I lost my wallet five years ago. And, and I was so overwhelmed with such a simple problem that I thought, well, I can fix that. And that marked the beginning of Switchpoint. In 2014, the Community Resource Center was formed to help Ray and has since helped more than 4,000 others. Clients will come into Switchpoint and, and we say, what's wrong? Why are you here? And really getting to the bottom of their trauma. You don't become homeless because you decide one day that that sounds so fun, right? There's, there's events that lead up to that moment. Switchpoint held its first annual fundraising breakfast, featuring stories of those who have benefited from their help. Switchpoint has been rising, rising up since it was a dream, starting with an emergency shelter and a community resource center, then rising up again for a food pantry, then rising up again to develop a thrift store and a doggy daycare, then rising up once again to develop affordable housing. In each case, we have risen up to meet a need that was not being met. Switchpoint is receiving national attention for its model to rise up. The Gunn family endured hard times in northern Utah before finding much needed support at Switchpoint. And it was uh, a horrible experience at start, turned into a beautiful experience that's completely changed our life now. Um, we owe everything to Switchpoint. <laughs> And it's empowered us to, to, to give us that strength and to give us that hope that um, we can do it. And, and there's no right or wrong. You just have to keep trying. And that is big for my family, my kids especially, um, to have them with us and to know that we're, we're in this together and we can do it together and we can get out of it together. Switchpoint asked for pledges and donations to help with shelter needs and security updates. I am so grateful that you shared your story and your heart with us today. And now it is my privilege to ask for your support in moving the work of Switchpoint forward. The Rising Up from Rock Bottom campaign is a $100,000 challenge to help change the face of poverty in southern Utah. One set of local donors decided to match any new donations to Switchpoint dollar for dollar. Ken and I will meet your gift, whether it's a gift or a pledge, dollar for dollar, if you are a new donor. It's really important to us. Those things are going to allow us to help people with, a, with what we call at Switchpoint a hand up, not just a hand out. Um, it's not just an entitlement, it's saying, hey, here's someone, or here is a family or an individual that has uh, hit a low point that's homeless. What's the reason behind that? Well, what Dustin and his wife said empowers not only himself, but empowers all of us that are associated with Switchpoint to do better. And, and that's what Switchpoint can and has done. They've proven it. Now they're in their fifth year. It is truly an incredible resource for St. George and for Washington County. I'm, I'm so honored and humbled to be um, surrounded by people like Sparkle and the Guns and Manuel who have risen up um, and changed their lives. They, they do more for me than we ever at Switchpoint do for them. Like their motto says, be the Switchpoint in someone's life. Melissa Anderson, Community Education News.